Hey everyone, this is Mac here. I'm bringing you some gameplay and thoughts of the NHL 13 demo. So just a little background before we get into the video. This is the first NHL game I've probably played since like NHL 2004. So, I mean, that's so long ago that that was back in the day when you could pass with A and like shoot with X. And, and I used to play on PC, but that was so far back then that you could literally score on the exact same play every time. So it's nice to see that hockey games have evolved. Um, I haven't played since the 2007, so this is my first time using the, you know, the flip trick, like whatever the stick with the with the analog stick, and um, it did take a little bit of time for me to learn how to play the game. And I do not know how to use faceoffs um, what in this gameplay, so don't hate me. But I did learn after this game, so. The improvement, I did do some research just to see, you know, information I could tell you guys who would be interested. The main improvement from 2012-2013 is the fact that um, you have new animations as well as top end speed and just some skating. I think they're mostly gimmicks. They're just kind of skating differences. Your skater will have momentum and stuff when he's trying to stop on a dime and, and pass. Uh, I'm not the greatest player as you can witness here get an icing called uh, I do get offside I think once or twice um, so that's a thing as well and obviously in the demo you're only allowed to pick between two teams you have New Jersey versus LA which was the 2011-2012 NHL final uh, Stanley Cup finals series so those are the only two teams you get to pick between in the demo which is about 1.3 gigabytes in size and came out on August the 21st on Xbox 360 so a little more about the gameplay and why I chose this. I actually don't even score in this gameplay. I did just choose it because it's a it shows a lot of uh, puck possession and and stuff like that. It shows the icings and and the offsides. It shows that you can dive to block pucks. It, it shows a lot of the gameplay mechanics, which is why I thought it's better suited um, a gameplay demo thoughts type of video than one where I actually won like three nothing, but. You know, it was useless because I I didn't even show half the stuff you could do. So when you do, do when you do play the demo, you start in the third period, and you will begin given like a randomly assigned score. So right now I was assigned one nothing for LA, whereas other times I was assigned like three two for New Jersey, and uh, so that's also something you should look out for. So on to my gameplay thoughts. I was when I. You have to keep in mind, I haven't played an NHL game for like 10 years. So, I thought I'd be coming back to a huge graphical improvement, a huge improvement in fluidity, and, and like, uh, actually mimicking real NHL. So, I do watch the NHL, and sadly for me, I'm a Leafs fan. But, uh, maybe, maybe this year they'll do a little better. Um, otherwise, though, I was hoping for a little bit of more realistic gameplay. But it feels like when I was trying to do stuff that would actually work in a realistic hockey game, I would fail, like, utterly fail. So I don't know what, you know, I don't know. It, it's still, you're still playing a video game here. You're not playing, like, a simulator, but m more of, there are certain things they want you to do that obviously suits uh, winning the game better than actually playing it like a, like an actual hockey game. And um, what else is there to say? Uh, in terms of graphics and stuff, it's nice to see the fans, you know, 3D and they, they do rub up and bang against the glass when there's players battling for the puck near it. It's good to see they're the, like, full 3D and not the 2D kind of washboards. Um, so there's good detail in that. The player uh, faces, they look great. There's a few things missing that I would have really loved to see. It sounds stupid as hell, but I would have loved to have seen some beards on these guys because we are playing the Stanley Cup final here. Um, I would have... I, from what I've seen online, there is a Winter Classic mode in the 2013, which I'm unsure if was present in the 2012 copy, but we will have the Winter Classic game, and apparently it's supposed to, everything is supposed to change for it. The coaches are going to be wearing big jackets, all the fans are going to be wearing scarves because it's outside. So apparently the entire game does adjust compared, you know, when you do select the Winter Classic. And there you see uh, New Jersey score in the last minute there. Um, that's the computer as I am playing as LA. And it's a 1-1 tie. I think that's how the game ends. But 
I think I'm all out of things to say. I'm sure when I stop recording my voice, I will find out more things I wanted to add about the demo. But all in all, oh, hey, one more thing. So it was actually cool in my first two games. I had a disallowed goal that was ended up allowed. So it's it's nice to see the whole replay and the, you know, it's stuff you see in the real NHL. It's when I believe I, I shot a slap shot from the blue line. It hit off a player's skate and went in the net. And they went up for review, and obviously there was no kicking motion, so so they did get to keep it. But it's cool that they show you that whole process, just like in the game, just like in real life. Although there's a few things in real from real life hockey that you don't want to see in a video game, which unfortunately unfortunately are in the game, but may be able to be tweaked with settings. So for example, I was on a two-on-one breakaway. This is in a different game than this one, and I went to line up the shot, and my stick just broke out of nowhere, and that was a waste of a play. But that's the end of the game. You get to see the highlight reel of the game. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and it was a little bit informative. I just wanted to show you a little bit of gameplay from the demo. And hopefully these this 2012-2013 uh, NHL season does actually go off. Because it would be a shame to see, you know, no season. And then this game's m much more likely to be unsuccessful. So I think I might be getting it. I'll uh, see you guys online, hopefully in late September. And let me know what you guys thought of my thoughts.